everyone shaper 1000 here again today I've got this box it came when I was making the last video the will it run video uh, <clears throat> so this is my cot but it does something special so let's get this opened up and let's check it out as soon as monkey gets back she had a doctor's appointment uh, physical therapy or whatever so as soon as she gets back I have another package that came we're gonna open that up You'll see that one before this one, so I don't even know why I mentioned it. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's stand this up. It's from Out Sunny. Now, I bought this with our own money, so it wasn't given to me or anything. But let's check this out. Okay, so let's get this opened up. This this is an old knife that used to be her dad's. Uh, Miller Plastering and Stucco Incorporated. And it has a number on it. Uh, just a, a little Swiss Army knife. It belonged to her dad, so. Uh, I got all that stuff they gave to me. Like his knives and stuff. I also got a real cool. Uh, Corvette wristwatch in there. It's awesome. I'll have to uh, I'll do a video on that sometime uh, Okay, this is why I like opening the ends be careful when you open things like this because you could cut right through it um, This out of the way It is a little heavy All right, now, set this down here on my little table. Okay, let me get you put over this way a little bit. Unzip this. All right, we've got a couple things here. We've got, these are bellows, pretty cool. Why does a cot need bellows? Well, I don't know. This is, I believe, a sleeping pad. This, I believe, is a uh, sleeping bag. I'm gonna get this stuff out. Not sure what that is. Maybe a pillow? I don't know. But it's, what is that? I don't know. But, put that stuff over there. And we got, what is this? A tongue suppressor? <laughs> uh, it's cool. Elaborate the outdoors without sunny. Cool Florida theme there, huh? All right, now let's put this back in the bag like that. Here's the instructions, and there's monkey pulling in. All right, guys, I'm going to take a little break. We'll be back to this. It'll just be for one second for you guys, but okay, so and then uh, I'll be back with you. I'm gonna go make another video here real quick. Okay, we're back. Now, uh, like I said, here's a book here. I may need that. So what we're gonna do, here's the cot. This is Velcro. Set these aside. We're going to get our pot out. Move our table. Now, 
like I said, I've never set one of these kind of cots up before, so. But, I watch a lot of camping videos, so. <laughs> That'll help. Now, I'm, I'm sure these go in here. Pretty self-explanatory. Put that there. That there. Now, the other one. Same way. We're going to put this through same way. I know one of these, or I mean, this one is going to be tight because it's got a stretch for you. And there it is. And there's our cot. Okay. I don't think there's any locks. Uh, nope, don't see any locks. So, let's lay this out down, or let's lay down right now. Okay. Ooh, this is nice. This is really, really nice. Okay, this is awesome. All right, now, I said it does something special. Um, we've got some other stuff here. Let's open this up. Like I said, I bought this. I think it was... The cots I was looking at, they were like... You know, decent cots, similar to this. They're like a hundred bucks. This was like, I don't know, 129, I think, 124, something like that. This cot turns into a tent. Let's see, I want to make sure I'm putting this up right. Because it does have holes that go through it. Now, let's get our holes out here. Left my knife in the house. But, uh, I thought for a few dollars more, I'm going to get something really neat. You know what I mean? So, Monkey said, if you're going to buy something, you know, if you're going to spend money on something like that, get what you want, you know. And I'm like, well, that's true. So, traffic going past at 100 miles an hour but that's what they like to do uh, got another one here now does it go like this or does it go long ways and down like this I'm guessing these go in here there's little holes down there oh I don't know that's pretty hot but Okay, because we've got the X thing that's going to go in the center. Make sure I'm doing this right. I am going to consult the things here. It's in a couple different languages, so that's cool. Alright, now the tent follow the picture to assemble another end of the bar okay we've done that we've done that 
air bed assembly. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do the air bed assembly. So this is not really a sleeping pad. It's 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 actually a mattress. So let's go ahead and do this like it says to do. It comes with patches. So let's move this. Let's set this out. Here's where you fill it and let the air out. Okay, so let's get our bellows. And yes, I'm going to camp out in this tonight. So, and I got a new stove I bought, I don't know, a month ago. And uh, we're going to try it out too. Here's the bellows. Alright, so. So, this screws on to here. Make sure I'm not cross threading it. Oh, okay. Very simple. And I'm guessing it's got threads on the other side. So, if you hook it on the other side, I'm guessing it helps suck the air out. So it's got a couple different ends here that I keep dropping. Let's see which one it takes. All right, I'm gonna speed you up for this. I'm gonna read this while I'm doing that. So, but I'll, I'll speed you up, guys. Okay, that's pumped up. <laughs> yeah, you definitely uh, wouldn't blow that up with your mouth, but. Okay, so now we've got that. Uh, let's see, we've pumped that up. Do not overinflate, okay? Coat, what's it say? Coat the airbed with the cushion cover and fasten the Velcro strips. Okay, what are we looking for here? A cushion cover. I think this is the pillow. This, this is going to be a pillow, I'm sure. Because it does come with a pillow and a pillow case. Yes, this is a pillow. Oh, another patch. Okay. Let's open this up. Maybe it says coated. Coat. This is the uh, this is the sleeping bag. And so I'm gonna sleep with my head up there. It does have a Velcro thing here. Now it says coat. I don't get it. it. Says, coat the air bed. I bet it's cover the air bed with the cushion. Well, it says cushion cover. I didn't get a cushion cover with it. And fasten the Velcro strips. Yeah, it's supposed to have a cushion cover. It did not come with one. I'm not seeing one. Wait a minute. Is this it? Let's see. Okay, so this is the cushion cover. Okay, so let's move our 
sleeping bag. So, this goes underneath. Cool, we got a kind of like a sheet. <laughs> that's, pre that's pretty cool. We're going to take our Velcro strap. And we're just going to strap that on there. All right. There we go. There's that. Now, oh, geez. It says to pump up the pillow. It does say to use one of these. Let's do the bigger one. Whoops. Ain't gonna get anywhere like that, duh. Plug it in. Okay. Alright, let me speed you up again. Cool. Now, of course, guys, you know, this is too heavy to backpack with. But here's that. Now, we have our pillowcase. Monkey, funny thing, has got pillowcases just like this in there on our bed. Well, I don't know if they're on right now, but how they cover up like that. There is our pillowcase. Now, I don't know what the rating is on this bag. I'm sure it's not, you know, anything major, but so it says, put these up in here. Okay guys, there it is. It's not too bad. Kind of a learning curve, but it's not bad at all to set up. Uh, what the heck? Okay. There you guys go. It's set up. It's not too bad. Kind of a learning curve. You know how these things go because all they do is just give you these pictures but that's yeah, pretty easy to figure out I will waterproof this because it doesn't say it's waterproof but as you can see it does have seam seal tape on it so I may yeah it has it all around the seam seam seal tape and it's got these vents right here um, so and we can close these up if we want. 
I like these that this bag has these that strap and velcro around the pad is which I forgot to hook this one up hang on a second all right there it is that's pretty cool now I'm gonna go ahead and zip these back up because you know bugs mosquitoes are out in force now there's there is no screen on the front door but that's okay now it doesn't have a rain fly but apparently it doesn't need one but I will waterproof this the seam seal myself with the Vaseline I usually use around the, the seals and the zippers um, and we'll zip this up down here at the zippers it's got velcro to help hold the zippers closed up here there is a little hook or a little loop to hang a, your light or whatever and there it is it's got these these ties here you can tie these off um, yeah that's pretty cool I thought it was neat I haven't seen a lot of them on YouTube but I seen a couple and I always thought well, that's pretty cool I never thought I would end up with one but I when I when I seen this cot tent for you know a few dollars more than a cot that I wanted I thought well you know I'll give it a shot so, and also, you know, the, uh, the pad, the sleeping mat, the pad, mattress, whatever, you know, it buckles in. Then I showed you how the sleeping bag buckles around that. <coughs> I think these are just, when you, uh, put it together or roll it up, you know, so. All right. I'm going to go in the house. Cool down, because it's really hot out here. Well, it's actually humid. It's like 90% humidity or something like that. I'll get this picked up. I'm gonna try my new stove out I bought about a month ago, and I'll make something to eat. Um, I also have a new uh, tarp that I can put over this if I want to. It's a pretty big tarp, and I got two new trekking poles. Now, I have not used either one of them yet that I can make a little porch if I wanted to on that thing. I think it's gonna be kind of cool, um, but it's like this is not gonna keep water out from there. But I guess that's what my tarp would be used for. Huh? But I mean, you're on your pad, it, it's, you know, you shouldn't get wet, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. Because, you know, it was hard to stretch around that pad, so I know it, it can't go around these, which it should. I mean, you think they'd make it like that, but I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, it's, it's really cool. But we're going to sleep in it tonight, and uh, I'll be back with you once I go cool down. Stick around, guys. Okay, guys, I just lost a, a bunch of footage. Um... I, uh, I did an unbox or opening on this on this little stove and what I like about it is it can take this canister style or you can screw this on screw this on here and this on here and you can use this style now I'm gonna make some ramen noodles this also comes with the carry bag that you can um, hook onto your uh, backpack if you want. It also has a a stand. Now, now this bigger this is a bigger canister. I've had this probably for going on four years now. It's still got a little bit in it, but I bought a smaller canister. It's in my backpack. It'll probably fit on this, but them bigger cans won't. And of course this won't but that's okay now the reason why I like that is because we do a lot of car camping so I can bring this I don't have to carry this in my backpack 
and I, I've got to re, I, I refill these so I did a video on that so what we're gonna do is Brian sent these to me thank you Brian I did all this but uh, it, it's saying my batteries are dead there's something going on with my camera I have you plugged in right now but it's saying my batteries are dead but the chargers are saying they're not and when when that happens if if you don't have the right battery in it it and it goes dead if like if you put another battery in or whatever it erases whatever footage you have and I don't know why it does that thanks Sony man you know I've been diehard Sony fan for a long long time but you know everybody has their issues and that's a bad issue right there a terrible issue now I don't know why it's saying my batteries are dead but it is so anyway so this is so now you can <laughs> this is kind of weird you can make it instant or you can cook it now instant it says place the contents of this package in a bowl at about 450 ml of boiling water cover the bowl and wait for three minutes before serving or you can cook it place the contents of this package into a pot add about 500 milliliters of boiling water cook for two to three minutes before serving well anyway that's what we're going to do here's the nutrition facts if you guys want to pause that and read it okay so um 500 mils of water is about it's two cups and two cups is 16 ounces so we're going to go ahead and just dump this all in here okay now it says place the contents of this package into a pot add about 500 mil okay so let's just go ahead and I know I also said something about my what my pot's so big I know it is it's overkill but I'm at home so you know why get out my other stuff now I'm probably gonna have to hold this but let's see if this fires up it does have a igniter which is not doing anything there we go Crap. Okay, this is not going to take long. So, I want to bring this to a boil first. And then, uh, and then I'll bring you back when I dump this stuff in. Okay, guys, so it's no joke. This has been about two minutes. So, we're going to put this in here. I like to break mine up first. But holy crap look at that as you can see I set it on the ground and it says to cook about three minutes I think you add everything together contents of this package so I've already got this opened up Give it a little stir. And I'll bring you back in about three minutes. I have no way to time this. My phone's in the house, so I just, when the noodles get done, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, so it's been about three minutes. Also, what I like about this is you can turn it down way low if you want to simmer something. A lot of them, they're pretty much either on or off. Even though you can turn it a good ways, it's just like there's no in-between. But, so there's this. This thing was only like $15, guys, so. Um, Walmart. But, yeah, I'd like to know what's going on with my camera. Man, that, that upsets me. Probably because I dropped it that one time. Okay, let's give this a try. I 
also when I plugged it in this is not off it should have an orange light come on if the battery is charging well it didn't come on so that's like saying the battery's full charge because the orange light will go out when it's charged when the battery's charged but so let's give these a try so it's kind of kind of like three three reviews in one we're doing the soup the stove and well four the soup the stove the cot and the tent and if you want to get technical the pillow the sleeping bag the sleeping mattress okay take these off man it's really hot out here guys i got a fan charging up it was at 75 percent but that way i can hang it up in the tent wow this is hot So, yeah, I mean, I'm not supposed to do much this week, so that's why I'm doing this here. I've, I've been wanting to camp out under here, so I wanted to hang my hammock, but I haven't done that yet, but I will. <laughs> very hot, but that's very good. That's nice, and uh, it's got a nice chickeny flavor. Sometimes, like the ramen that you buy you know just the cheap stuff like dollar tree dollar store whatever uh sometimes i'll have to add like half a bouillon cube to get some flavor out of it but not this this is very good and this is uh what is it here kung fu instant oriental noodle soup this is pretty good now the show on there you can add chicken and stuff I I have done that before and it really makes a, a difference if you add some meat in there but um, it's very good very hot but yeah this is I think I cooked my noodles it's been about three minutes but that thing was cranked up <laughs> that thing down there but um, so the noodles are a little more done but that's my fault real life you know it happens but uh i mean they're fine these are pretty good i think i'm gonna get some crackers and i'm gonna add in here into this and then after i eat i'll be back with you guys stick around monkey was out here she got in there I mean, as soon as she came out, she just immediately went over and got in it. <laughs> oh, she's like, oh, I like this. And then, of course, Bruno had to jump up in there, too. Um, there's a pretty good amount of room in there for just a cot tent. It's not as big, or it's not as wide as my tent trailer, which I've got an update on that thing. It's probably going to have to wait until after my surgery now but I do have an update on that they did send me the reflectors and they also revamped the they sent me some things to try out to see if it'll help level it out so that's pretty cool um, I did check the tires yesterday and you know I, I've used that thing what one time and the tires are flat so they're going flat sitting there um, I don't know if they didn't tighten the valve stems or what but you know shouldn't go flat just sitting there but anyway we'll see but so yeah I'm gonna go get some crackers and put in here and then I'm gonna finish my supper and I'll be back with you guys so stick around guys okay guys so pretty quiet out here when I finished supper and went in the house and uh, got my shower changed I got my shorts on I'm supposed to get down to 69 tonight Right now it's currently 77, so it's still got a ways to go, but I did bring my fan out. I will hang this fan on my hook. I got my phone, it's fully charged, YouTube. And uh, yeah, so when I get in there, I'm going in here in a few minutes. And uh, I went to the house and uh, well, I was going in and get my shower anyway. Uh, man, mosquitoes got bad out here. My thermocell was empty and hers was put away. So I do have some um, some mosquito spray 
in case I need them. But once I get in there, I should be fine. Uh, hopefully there's nothing, no mosquitoes in there. Because Monkey did come out and sit in it for, well, she actually laid down for a few minutes in it. But um, she's liking it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right, I'll be back with you guys when we get inside the tent. Okay, guys, we're in the tent. I got that window open and that one down there is open. Oh, you can't see it, but it's open. Uh, got my little fan up there and light. Got my phone here. We're watching YouTube. Come on, focus. Anyway, so, yeah. Um, this pillow is pretty nice. Because I didn't bring out my my pillow from the house. I wish this kind of had maybe Velcro to hold that back a little bit. But it's okay. It's fine. Um, it's got a little hook here. Or, yeah, a little... Yeah. A little hook there. So, yeah. This is okay. Alright, well, I'll let you guys know in the morning how well, how comfortable this is. Right now, it's very, very comfortable. I'm liking it so far. So, but, so it's probably going to be, of course, after my surgery, but Monkey's going to sleep in one, and I'm going to sleep in uh, one, because we're going to, why are you not focusing? Because the lens has dew on it. I don't know if that's any better. I don't know where I put my glasses. I think I left them outside. But, so we're going to set up this tent and my bicycle trailer tent thing. And she wants to sleep in this one, which I'll probably let her do. But, and then I'll sleep in the bicycle tent one, because like I said, there's some modifications. So. Yeah, I didn't bring my glasses in. So anyway, guys, I'll let you know how this does in the morning. So, uh, if I think anything or if something strange or funny happens, I'll let you know. I don't think i got to worry about a bear or Bigfoot or a hog or anything like that getting me tonight. So... I'm good to go. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Alright guys, I think you can hear that, so this is what I woke up to. I'm going to go in the house, and I'll be back out in a little bit, and uh, we'll go over the tent some more, and we'll talk about it some more, so, uh, uh, so you guys aren't hearing that. Okay guys, I'm back out. It's afternoon now. Uh, friend of mine Ryan he stopped by he seen that and he had to stop in he says I never know what you're gonna have here so but um so far I'm very pleased with this thing there's a couple things I'd like to see added but it's not a deal breaker for me like here I would like to have a mesh you know kind of like a, a screen that unzips and zips too uh, and maybe a window back here for a little more ventilation other than that I'm fine at 4 o'clock in the morning it was 72 degrees I could turn that fan off and I had I was very comfortable um, I did not have to get in my sleeping bag though I did for a little bit to see how comfortable it was it's a very nice bag of course it's not rated high or low whatever you know I mean it's not you're not going to take that you know 30 20 30 degrees you're not going to take this whole thing 20 to 30 degrees so i done some research on this thing yes this will leak um this is not a waterproof tent this is water resistant tent uh out sunny 
because this is a fair weather tent. You're not gonna wanna take this if you're planning on getting a lot of rain and stuff. They tell you you're not supposed to use it in heavy winds, you know, heavy rains, high winds, and extreme temperatures like snow and stuff like that. It's not made for that. It's made for a day like today, you know? So, but the thing is, it's perfect for that. So that's why it's not waterproof. Now, they can make this waterproof real easy by putting a skirt around here, all the way around it, and have it covering this. Then, if you wanted, if they wanted, they could put bigger feet with a little hole in it, kind of like the, uh, the chairs, you know, your camping chairs have that you put a couple stakes in but you could guy this out with no problem and if this is guyed out real good that'll help hold the cot down uh, and it'd be a $200 tent all day long um, now there's another company that, uh, that well there's a couple companies there's another company that makes this and it's called Camp Right now there was they're supposedly completely waterproof but I guess the doorway does not open like this so you can see the whole thing opens here it's just a small you know like half you know kind of you know like some tents have and I guess it's harder to get into also a company that makes one that I did not know about I would have looked at it first is Nightcat now you guys might know what I'm talking about if you watch my channel, my Nightcat hammock and ground bivy. Um, it's completely waterproof. But yeah, the, the one the Nightcat makes is supposed to be waterproof. But this one uh, had the best reviews on it. Like I said, I didn't check out Nightcat because I didn't know I had it. But the, this one actually had better reviews and was cheaper than the uh, Camp Right. Although the camp right is completely waterproof. Now, but as you can see, it is it is seam taped. So, um, but that's why they're not worried about this because you're not supposed to have this one out in heavy rains. But my suggestion for this thing is you could guy that down, no problem. Right here, guy it down, and right here. Actually, you can hook right onto that and guy it down if you wanted. Uh, bring a tarp, you know, a 10 by 10 tarp. They're cheap. They're not heavy. I mean, this thing, you're not going to backpack with this thing anyhow. So, just get you a tarp and put over it. That's what I'll do if I solo camp because I'm a Florida. I mean, it could... Oh, bye, Monk. Jesus, scared the shit out of me. I thought I was going to have to kick somebody in the beak oh. <laughs> getting in our car. Uh, she's got to do physical therapy bye mama but anyway like this in five minutes from now you know you could be in a downpour when we get downpours they don't last long but they are downpours look at this guys I'm trying not to blind you look how beautiful it is now I'm saying that because right now we're under state of emergency and my town Inverness which is Citrus County Florida we are under a, a, an alert, a si tropical cyclone alert right now until 7.30 p.m. tonight. So I want to get this done for you. But that's my take on it. Just bring, bring a, bring a tarp. You know, people's like, yeah, but you can't always find two trees. Well, you can't either if you camp in, in a hammock. But you don't need two trees, you know? You can just drape a tarp over this thing and stick it down in four corners. You would be fine. Um, so I will be doing a video on that. Bye, Mama. I will be doing a video of setting a tarp up over this thing. But mainly, 90% of the time, I'm just going to be using the cot in our tent. That's all. But I can show you how to rig up a tarp. You know, if you don't have two trees to run, you know, a ridge line or something like that or to time to. Like I said, if anything, 
just throw the tarp over it. You'll be fine. Stake the tarp down on four corners. You're not going to get wet in there as long as providing your tarp's waterproof like it should be. But... Oh, Jesus. So, but, yeah. Yeah, I mean, comfort, the pad's good. Now, you saw the pump. That pump, yeah, they, they those foot pumps suck. But, no, Jesus, you're not going to blow that up by mouth. It's an actual mattress, not an air pad. But just bring you one of those little $15 air pumps and it'll pump it up. But I look at it this way. Those guys that go, you know, pay $3,000 for them uh, air tents, they got to sit and they got to use like a big bicycle pump and they got to sit and pump it up. And I guess it, it can take up to 20, 25 minutes to pump one of them up. So, yeah. But, um... You know, as far as the pump goes, I have a pump in there, but I wanted to use the pump that it came with. So let's say you get out there, where are you going? Like I did on the boat, when I camped on the boat, my pump was dead. So I had to blow my air pad up by mouth. Now it was just an air pad. If I had had that mattress, I would have never got that done. So the pump fits in there just fine. Leave it in there. And like I said, it, if it if you get out there and you find out your pump's dead, you still got a way to pump it up. It just takes a little longer. A lot of guys, you know, I was watching, I watched until 4 o'clock in the morning videos of guys doing this exact tent, the Out Sunny. And they just take this pump, this is junk, and throw it out. Don't don't even worry about it. Just, and they would actually throw it. I'm, I'll never use that again. Well, I'll bet you would if you found out that, you know, in your kit your air pump got turned on you didn't know it and you get out there and now you have no way to pump up your mattress another guy he said these mattresses suck i'll never use one of these mattresses again i didn't have a problem with it like i said it's an actual mattress not an air pad i do want to try this out with my air pad i think it'll be fine um so when i put this up you know i kind of did these first and then put these in. I seen guys, and this is how I got the, this, if you get one of these. What I did was, you can put it just around here, but what I did was put it in there so it can't come out. And these go in here. So what I seen guys doing, and it looked a hell of a lot easier, was once you get these up through here, and I had trouble, I don't know if you noticed, right before the camera shut off, and I started back up again, I had, one of these I missed, right here. I missed one of these, and like, uh, I think this one was actually through this hole, so I had to change them. But it looked to me like everybody says it's easier just to put these up through here, don't put this on yet, stick it in the, in the hole down there. Same way with all four of them, then you'll have your four, these four things will stick up and you can just bend them down and put it in your plastic thing there. And it looked a lot easier. Also, what it said to do, I almost didn't do it. It says to, you know, put your mattress in first and then put this on. And yeah, it was kind of a pain when I was over here. If you guys watched, I was kind of struggling a little bit. But they said because you can't get to the straps in the back, but yeah, yeah, you can. You can get to them. It's not a big deal. There they are right there. So, one there, and there's one there. Which, I that's exactly what I was gonna do. I was, I was gonna say, why work around that? Just put this in, you know, last. But I wanted to do it the way the instructions say. So, forget that. Put this up first, then put your mattress in. Then your sleeping bag. I do like these. These helped a lot. To keep the sleeping the sleeping mattress from sliding around I do like them there's four of them the pillows fine you know it didn't lose any air it's nice uh, of course it's not like your pillow from home bring your pillow from home but remember you're camping you know you're not gonna spend three weeks in this thing if you are yes bring your pillow from home make sure you have a good mattress make sure you have a good tarp all that crap but yeah so put your mattress in last It'll be fine. You can reach them buckles back there. That's not a big deal. Um, 
Let me see what else did I want to mention. Um, so yeah, I will give it. I will give it a four out of five star. It gets two thumbs up, and the reason why it gets a four is because I would like to see mesh here, and another window there. Um, a pocket would be nice, you know, to to like put your phone and in my case the camera I'm using, and my phone, because I like to keep them in here with me. Um, also. Last night I used that bag there. I set this chair over here beside me and I used that bag and put my slippers in that bag because we are in Florida. We got scorpions. We've got spiders. Yes, the brown recluse. We've got the banana spiders. We got all that stuff. We've got snakes. We've got rattlesnakes. We've got that coral snake that can hurt you. Well, can kill you. And uh, so it's good to be up off the ground on something like this. So don't just... You know, I watched a couple videos, guys camping in Florida for for the first time. They they got these nice little tents, you know, with the vestibule, and they keep their boots out in the vestibule. Don't do that down here in Florida. There's too many creepy crawlies get in there and bite you. If you do have to leave your boot out, take your boot and hold it toe up and bang on the ground. Make sure there's nothing up in there. Don't shove your hand in there. Don't shove your foot up in there. But so I am going to keep that bag there because it will uh, or maybe this one because that'll hold my boots too if I'm wearing these shoes so that way I can put it in there because you know there's not a lot of room but yeah I would like to see like a pocket there and a pocket there just big enough to put a cell phone or or you know camera and you know another little window about this size right here I think would be great um, two thumbs up four star now as far as longevity that could change it could go up to a five star I don't know we'll have to see how well it lasts but yeah I think for that I think a window pocket here pocket there and a screen I'd like to see this mesh unzippable like you see in the tent so that way you know if you're in here you can open this up and not worry about bugs coming in because if you're claustrophobic this might get to you i am not so it didn't bother me but i did i did uh like to i would like to you know like leave the door open and look out like if you're on a lake or river you want to see that you can you can look out i did zip this up last night because the porch light in the house was on and it was reflecting off these silver things so all right, guys, I'm going to set you up, and let's get this tour down. I'll time-lapse again. Well, I'll just fast-forward. I don't do a lot of time-lapsing. But, so, I'm just, let's see. I'm trying to keep the camera out of the sun. But let me, uh, here, I got you in the shade here. what that says okay still recording um, yeah, we'll see how well we'll see how well it is how easy it is to take down I don't figure it's going to be that much of a feat I figure next time I'll have this up in five or ten minutes so let me move this out of the way Now, so I'm gonna take the sleeping bag out
Okay, guys, there you have it. Put it out here in the light. It does weigh 19 pounds. But I guess the... Uh, Oh, the camp right I guess it's around 30 pounds so that's not bad I struggled a little bit with the sleeping bag I could have rolled it up tighter before I put it in its bag and it would have been fine but you know it's fine once you get that zipped up you're fine so yeah there it is guys the Out Sunny uh, Cot Tent. Yeah, two thumbs up, four out of five stores so far. Um, there we go. But yeah, so I recommend it. Yeah, I recommend it. Yeah, I think it's fine. Just remember, if you plan on it raining, bring a tarp with you. Cover it with a tarp, it will be fine. Can't leak under a tarp, unless your tarp's crap. <laughs> So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do anything tomorrow or not, but I'll keep you posted or I'll have Monkey upload something on here to let you know how I'm doing. But I'll be going in Thursday and getting out Friday, and then i got to take it easy for a week. So that's doable. I can do that. So, yeah. I'm going to get my stuff throw it away. That's a great addition. Because uh, we car camp, throw that right up in the back of the car. It's fine. Tuck so it'll tuck away nicely. And then I'll have my whole tent if I decide it's a nice night. You know, I'm gonna throw the tent on there and sleep outside while Monkey sleeps in her castle. <laughs> I can do that. So yeah, awesome guys. Again. Four out of five stars, two thumbs up. I do recommend it. Link for this particular one will be in the description. But you know, if you get if you're in a a windy, rainy climate, you know, you're going to have to go with someone else that that is that is completely waterproof. But I mean, for that matter, guy, this thing down, throw your tarp over it. They're, they don't weigh hardly anything. That's not a backpacking tent anyway. I mean, you could if you got enough back string. But 19 pounds, that's heavy, you know. So, yeah, I mean, you're probably going car camping anyway. Bring a tarp with you. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Not for now. I don't know why I tilted you guys sideways. We'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more. Like I said, sometime after my surgery, we'll get that one out. We're going to set it up. I'll probably have to sleep in it. And I'll set this one up just the way I did for Monkey, and we'll sleep out here. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. Thanks again, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you soon. Check out Monkey 1000 channel. And I appreciate you guys' support. So thanks again. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your week.